everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome to Agatha Christie's Death on the Nile. Now, this is um, based off of a novel by Agatha, Agatha Christie, sorry, by the same name, and it was first published in 1937. So I don't believe we have viewers here who were born in 1937. Uh, if you were, hello! <laughs> but, um, so this is... Uh, murder mystery. We are a detective, and people on this cruise ship are suspects. Now, I've never read Death on the Nile, but looks like we're gonna find out what happens if this game didn't take artistic liberties with the story. Uh, we should be able to get an idea about what the book is about. Hopefully, that's the case. So, here we go. I have been talking on. Monsieur Perrault, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and the others have gone to bed. I'd better say goodnight. Please don't desert me yet, Miss Robson. We girls have to stick together. Okay, more wine. Fair quite enough, Jackie. Are you afraid I'll tell Miss Robson the story of my life? We were once engaged, you know, before he married Lynette. Oh, I... it is late. You're making a fool of yourself. For God's sake, go to bed. Fool? You're the fool, Simon. I told you I'd kill you sooner than you see another woman. But you didn't believe me. Oh... Next morning. You must get up, Pro. There was a murder last night. Oh no. Simon Doyle? How did you. Simon was shot by Miss De, <laughs> De Belfort, but he's in stable condition. No, the victim was Lynette Doyle, Simon's wife. She was shot in her bed. The captain asked if you... Will investigate. I'm waiting on a text. You will assist me, I hope. We begin at once. I skipped on the French because I didn't want to butcher it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Um. So. Simon was shot. But his wife is dead, and she was shot in her bed. Okay. Give me a moment. I am actually going to look up how to pronounce the guy's name. Hold on. Okay, so I looked it up, and several sources um, from this story is... Um, the detective's name is Praro. Um, that's going to be tricky to say, but uh, it's Praro. Um, not pro, and some people say, um, but pro-ro. Okay. Okay, welcome to your first investigation, Bubonic. The rooms with pictures are available to you in this investigation. Click on a room to start finding clues for detailed help. Okay. Okay, so Lynette Doyle, you should probably check on her first. Oh, body's still there, and it's really, really pale. All the items on Praro's list can be found in a scene. Okay. Someone has ripped up a photograph. I must find all the pieces. You found a clue! The jewelry box is empty. A woman as rich as Lynette Doyle should have treasures in there. Maybe she was robbed. Found a clue. Very peculiar. One bottle says rose and is full of pink polish. The other says pale rose and contains a small amount of dark red liquid. I will look at it more closely later. Found a clue! Writing a J on the wall? A bit obvious. I'm definitely gonna be tripped up by the French. Okay, that's really crooked. J. 
Okay, there's the last piece. The room is clear. Okay, investigation number one. Will Net Doyle have nine out of eighteen items? And okay, looks like we found all the clues. Questions Act Zero. Okay, now to the baggage room. Oh. Okay, there's the cup. Good job, Perot. You found four clues this investigation. Let's examine those photograph pieces you found. Okay, bonus round! Assemble the pieces of the photograph to find found in the nut can't say words. <laughs> Lynette Doyle's stateroom. Okay. Okay. Lynette Doyle and Jacqueline de Belfort were on the shooting team together at school. They were perhaps rivals in more ways than one. Okay, so <laughs> they had so um Belfort had experience with guns. Congratulations, you unlocked the salon. Click on the salon card to question suspects. Okay. We have more places we need to visit. Let's go here. Oh. A salon. In the salon, you can question suspects to get more clues on the mystery. Talking to the suspects is optional, but will help you answer who done it at the end of the game. Questioning a suspect. Suspects that are highlighted have new questions available. Click on the highlighted suspect and a list of the topics will appear in Perot's notebook. Click on the topic to ask the question. Timer pause. While you are in the salon, the timer is paused. Take your time. Suspect bios. Click on any character and their name will appear, appear in the notebook. Click on the suspect's name to see their bio. New questions. In each investigation, there are new questions to ask. Sometimes Clue items you find will also give you a new question. A salon card will shake and glow when there are new questions. Reviewing past questions. After you ask about a topic, it will remain in the notebook in a grayed down color. To review past dialogue, just click on the topic again. Okay. Go on highlight characters to talk to them. Okay. You. Go on name in the bio. Go on topic to ask a question. Last night. Oh, it was awful, like something from a bad dream. You can't blame Jackie. I think she only wanted to frighten Simon with that gun. I was just riveted when she pulled it out. And it went off and all oh, the blood. Mr. Fanthorpe and I helped Jackie to her room. She was absolutely hysterical. Nurse Bowers gave her a shot that calmed her down. Then I went to bed. Honestly, Mr. Perot, Jackie wasn't capable of doing any, any more mischief last night. If you'd have seen her, you'd understand. Okay, so she's done. Oh, it was shot in the leg. Let's see, Lynette. The doctors told me, told me about Lynette. I can't believe it. I simply can't believe it's true. It is a terrible blow. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip. <laughs> you know, Jackie didn't do it. It looks black against her, I disarray. But she didn't do it. She was a bit tight last night. That's why she went for me. But she wouldn't murder someone like that. Not in cold blood. Do not distress yourself, Monsieur Dor. Pura will find the truth. So is his name Hercule? <laughs> okay. Didn't know that. Let's see. Jackie. That's enemies. Poros. Let's just go over to Jackie. I suppose you heard that I was once engaged to Jackie. She got me the job with the net as her estate manager. I treated Jackie shabbily, I admit it. But when two people fall in love, there's not much that can be done about it. Jackie was determined to ruin our honeymoon. She's been following us for weeks. To Venice, Rome, now here. Lynette was very upset. And now it's ended so horribly. Okay. So I take it for I for whenever we're talking, um, it's just going to um keep going. Okay. Lynette's enemies. 
besides Mademoiselle de Beaufort, who else on the ship had reason to dislike Lynette? I don't know. Lynette did go pale when she saw the passenger list, but I never had a chance to ask her about it. Okay, and what about her jewelry? Did Madame Doyle keep her pearls in the ship's safe? No, she wore them all the time. She kept them in a box by the bed. That box is empty. Strange. Those pearls were worth at least- Whoa! 50,000 pounds! We should talk to her maid, Louise. She's only been with Lynette a few months. Always seemed a little shifty to me. Okay, so we're gonna end it here for now. Um, okay, I'm just thinking of the several things we have to do in these three other people we haven't seen yet that we need to ask uh, questions. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!